hi guys, Gabe here from ESC United and I'm honoured to be joined by Natalia Barbu. Natalia Barbu, Moldova. <laughs> Lovely to uh, welcome you back to Eurovision um, and it's really wonderful to see you back. I wanted to ask, Eurovision has changed a lot, it evolves a lot over time. So far, when you compare your experience this time to last time, how different is it? What oh, are you noticing that you didn't see before? Oh, very different because uh, we are technologically we're very uh, high like the, in that um, in this moment uh, we didn't have in 2007 all this social media all, the, all this internet possibilities so today is whew, uh, it's a lot different. Um, um, I feel different. I sing different. I write different. Uh, I'm a mother, so I I love different. You know, because mm. you you feel uh, 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 different emotions when you write, when you sing. So, uh, uh, but in the same time, uh, 2007 uh, and now it's uh, it's like a blink of an eye. Sometimes you just oh my god, it uh, time uh, time uh, flies so fast. And today, actually, I feel that uh, time is really uh, um, running, running very fast. Yeah, fast. Yeah. Yes, and uh, I think all the people, all of us, feel, uh, are feeling this uh, changes all uh, all overnight. You know. Mm. But I, I guess for you as well, you know, if you presumably when you look at Natalia Barbu in 2007. <laughs> You're now, you know, you've gained so much experience in that time. You've performed, you know, hundreds and hundreds of shows over that time. Do you feel, presumably now, it's a lot easier to just switch off and perform when you need to, you know, to get yourself in the zone, avoid nerves, things like that. Do you feel that you've learned over time as you've become more experienced to deal with those kinds of performance nerves and so on? Yeah, it's easier in the, in one in one way, but in the, the other way it's not so easy because uh, this contest is different. You have three minutes on the stage. Three minutes, guys. It's not so simple actually because uh, you, you need to put, put yourself together uh, really fast and uh, give uh, 100% uh, on the stage. And the pressure is uh, more for me because uh, I need to... Um, to prove myself to myself that I I, I can uh, do more, I can show more, I can uh, connect more with the, the audience. So it's more pressure for me, and uh, uh, <laughs> it's not so easy. Mm. Turning to the song now, one of my favorite, in fact, two favorite features of in the middle. I love the violins and I love the hand dancing. I'm sure you can't give us too many spoilers. I'm yes, sure, yes. but can we expect to see that similar theme? on the stage in Malmo uh, in May? No, uh, um, uh, it will be some uh, changes uh, because uh, the, um, um, the stage on Moldova uh, was really small. Mm. So, uh, in Malmo is huge, so uh, five uh, girls on the in Malmo, on Malmo stage, well, believe me, wouldn't be so... Uh, it would be too small, it yeah. It would be too small, so I decided to go by myself with my violin, of course, with the clapping, with my mantra and everything, but with a beautiful uh, story around me, with my um, a video and animation. Amazing. Well, we're really excited to see it. We're looking forward to seeing Natalia performing tonight in London and on that stage in me Malmo. Too. Yeah. Thank you so much uh, for you. taking some time to speak to us. If you want to see uh, Natalia in that final, on uh, May the 11th, make sure to pick up the phone and, uh, and vote. vote. Vote in number 11. <laughs>